collaboration, I suppose, is the joining of two parties, whether it be two people or two groups. I think this is where the key people speaking different languages with training um, across the different areas can make a, a very big difference. Building a strong working relationship. And helping each other and forget about all the egos or forget about the individual needs. I think if you look at any of the major scientific breakthroughs, multiple groups collaborating together that work toward discovering new uh, understandings, it's absolutely critical. So for example, when we were setting up and designing the ARC Training Centre, we really approached our partners and asked them to design the projects. What are the projects that they are interested in and what gaps do they have? Two heads are better than one. The synergies that the collaboration provides will ultimately strengthen uh, progress towards your end goal. As a research scientist at CSL, we're often required to be jack of all trades, but being able to tap into these specific academic and clinical collaborators who are specialists in their fields is absolutely invaluable. Bringing that clinical problem together with the focus and expertise of CSL um, and joining those different uh, components together. When we have a decision that needs, that impacts a patient, um, it's not uh, the business side of the business that drives that decision, it's what's best for patient uh, care. The thing that really excites me is that opportunity to make a difference for patients. Just that insight into real world applications, actually seeing where your research is being applied and how you know it's getting out there to the real world and not just being inside a university and I think that's really interesting for scientists. And generally the, the parties that are collaborating will have common goals and common aims and it's often the outside forces which uh, are, create the conflicts. So the, the only time it's felt like we're collaborating with the enemy really is when the lawyers get involved. I don't have any enemies. <laughs> and uh, yeah, um, no. Uh, yes, only when you know it involved getting chocolate. Well, <laughs> I, I don't know about an enemy, but certainly we're very used to uh, interacting with competitors. And making sure that um, maybe personal feelings are kept out of it and that the main objective of the collaboration is kept in mind, but not with enemies in particular, no, thankfully. <laughs> or get involved, uh, getting a nice bottle of wine. I certainly would collaborate with the enemy over those two, two things, yep. I'm quite happy to leave that side to the lawyers and, and remain friends with the scientists. Tim Tams, definitely. We have a small group here and we collaborate with a small group at CSL and that group is empowered to make decisions and I think that really is very successful. Good communication can certainly help to make sure that everyone's on the same track. And I think that that takes work and it takes an ongoing uh, conversation. The, the more people you have, the more communication channels you have to deal with. And uh, so the number one is really communicate, communicate, communicate. It's also challenging, you know, with the time zone difference. And we both are very flexible on when we can be available uh, early in the morning or, or late at night. Things move a bit slower and I guess that expectation of industry that things move very fast um, could be something that you need to um, outline at the beginning with the partners. If one party really want to take ownership of that and really want to rule it in some way with their own primary objective overshadowing the collective objective, that certainly can destroy it. To again, think about that final uh, goal pose, that, that final goal that we want to score with. If you've got that vision, you've got that those shared objectives in place, then those other things happen. We need to use our expertise on all of these areas and pull together. That's the only way to achieve success in science.